Hello, this is Bishop Jonathan Ferriol, and this is The Bishop's Take. What used to be just Plan B and merely an alternative, the online ministries of the church have now become the main channel for administration, evangelism, and discipleship. With our physical church gatherings canceled, most of us now rely 100% on our church's online ministry to deliver our spiritual manna each week. Finally, our televisions and mobile devices have something redemptive to show these days. Thank God! What social distancing has taken away from us, our online ministry is giving back to us. You may be an OFW in the Middle East or an immigrant in the United States. Our online ministry is bringing us all together, at least virtually. Although we have to deal with the occasional loss of signal or fuzzy video feed, but we can all agree that that is a small price to pay compared to a number of incredible advantages and opportunities that online ministry provides. Consider, first, online ministry provides our evangelism with an incredible global reach that transcends borders and distances. Because of the worldwide availability of wireless technology, a Christian, say, who's in Los Angeles, could actually share his or her testimony to a friend in Sydney, Australia, easy. Also, big crusades did not to be limited anymore in one location alone, say, a church building or an arena, but it can also be shown in a rather very affordable way in various locations across the globe and in different time zones. Secondly, online ministry also expands our ability to give and receive our financial contributions for the mission. Unlike in a physical setting, one, one could only give at one given time. That's when it is offertory and when the usher is right next to you. But with online giving, one can actually give his or her offering anytime and anywhere. And in the same breath, the church could also receive the offering anytime in a safe and secure manner. Finally, online ministry extends the reach of our discipleship ministry beyond the walls of our Sunday school rooms. This is a big advantage for pastors like me, given the social distancing that is currently enforced these days. For instance, I don't need to be in a church building or behind a pulpit to be able to teach you. I can be in my own living room or in my own study area and I could still teach a group of you a lesson on theology, like I would teach you in a face-to-face -face setting. In the same vein, students can also do their assignments by using various applications or apps created specifically to address this need for student-teacher interaction. So, what am I saying here? Am I forecasting the end of the traditional church meetings in one location? Of course not. All I'm saying is this. We must not be afraid of technology, more so see it as an enemy of progress but see it within the perspective of the Bible and understand the benefits it brings to our mission. The Apostle Paul says in 1 Corinthians 9.22, I have become all things to all people, so that by all possible means I might save some. I believe that if the Apostle Paul was still alive today, he would have seized this quote-unquote means, the online ministry, to greatly expand the reach of his message. So let us take advantage of this time that the online ministry is being utilized to equip us as disciples. Attend our online church services. Give online too and stay connected with the church always. This is my take on online ministry.